I cannot hear anything. Now? Can now you hear me? Can. Yeah, I hear now. Yeah? I hear now. I still can't hear you. Are you muted or maybe your settings are mixed up? Who? Yourself? Shoot. Maybe it's me. I don't know what happened. Everything was working fine. I can hear you now clearly. I don't know mm -hmm. others. I hear you perfectly. Hello. Can you hear me, Mihaela? Mm, I still don't hear anything. I'm going to try and exit the class and come back in. Hopefully I get a spot. And hopefully that will fix the problem. Sometimes it just doesn't load properly. So I'll be right back, guys. Sorry about this. All right. I think everything is fixed now. Awesome. Sorry about that, guys. Sometimes things just don't load correctly, and then there's some technical difficulties. But I'm glad to be back and glad to see you guys again. Um, since most of you guys were in the last class, we won't really do introductions, but Hazel wasn't in the last class. So, Hazel, would you like to introduce yourself? Yes, hello. I'm Hazel from Romania. Nice to meet you. All. Nice to meet you too. And why are you studying with Verbling? For work, for enjoyment? For enjoyment, for pleasure. Awesome. We're very glad and, to have you here. And and travel. Yeah, for travel it's great too. All right. So my name is Michaela. I'm from Phoenix, Arizona. And I've been teaching. I've been teaching with Verbling for probably two or three months. But I've been teaching English abroad for a few years now, and I love it. So glad to meet you guys. Same here. All right. So today we're talking about art. And before we begin, I'd like to know what you guys think of art. What is art to you? So, Senel, what do you think art is? I think art is something that mm, telling about our emotion that we cannot tell by words. It's expressing our emotions that words cannot explain. If, okay. Yeah. Yeah, so there are ideas that maybe uh, you can't explain properly or um, it's like your feelings, your emotions. That's a good definition for it. Okay. Hazel, what do you think art is? Uh, for me, art is um, nice uh, music, an opera, a ballet, a painting, a sculpture, a nice architecture. Mm -hmm. Definitely, thing. that's a type of art too. Um, and Alberto, what do you think art is? I think Seno said uh, it's the the things uh, that produce you uh, emotion, mm -hmm. uh, and and it's difficult to to explain it uh, why you you are uh, crying about uh, that painting or uh, or about something. I include uh, in the in the arts. Uh, photographs on the cinema for example yeah definitely so 
I think maybe art, what we're saying is art, is something that's it's greater than its parts. So uh, any painting, you might see some colors and some pictures and stuff. But together, it means something different, something emotional. And even with a poem or with a book or with a song, all of those are different kinds of art, right? Ah, the music, yeah, yes. the songs. Yes. Yeah, what other kinds of art are there? Can you guys think of other kinds of art? Many of them. <laughs> yeah, there's lots. So we, we mentioned music, and I think you guys probably were already thinking of painters, Painting. right? Painting, Painting. yeah. Sculptor, uh -huh. architect Sculptures, architecture, uh, writings. Writing, writings. yeah. Music, we already said. Yeah. Graphics. Anything else? Graphics. Graphics. Anything else? Cinema, they consider cinema also. Art. Yes, theater. Mm -hmm. Yes. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Theater, play. Uh huh. Photography. Photography. Mm -hmm. Yes. Definitely, that's art. Do you guys do any art or participate in anything you would consider art? <laughs> no, I'm not an artist. <laughs> Only sure. consumers of art. <laughs> I see consumers, consumers? of art. Even simple but things. A lot of money. <laughs> then. Yeah. No, to uh, to go to an art gallery, to listen uh, music, to go to a ballet, or um, to read uh, something pleasant, to and to admire. Uh, for example, recently I went to Barcelona and admired um, Gaudi's uh, architecture, or Gaudi's buildings. It's amazing. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's funny. Yeah. I think there are endless, endless kinds of art. And I think everybody participates in some art in their life. Because even simple things like communication between people, between um, friends and family, communication, I think, is a type of art. Because um, I'm sure all of you guys have been in a situation when you had to be very delicate about what you said like if your friend says oh does this dress make me look fat and you don't want to lie but you also don't really want to tell the truth so you kinda say oh well it's a great color for you it's amazing so you don't really answer the question I think communication can be a type of art too so we all participate in a little bit of art, I think. <laughs> Today we're talking about visual art, though. Um, does everyone have the notes open? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Okay. I'm going to put them. I think you guys have them, but <clears throat> and I put them in the chat box. Mm -hmm. So um, we're talking about art. The first page says art, and then it says, look at the list of paintings. Can you complete the names of the artists who painted them? So, number one, we have Mona Lisa. Does anyone know the artist who completed that painting? Leonardo yeah. da Vinci. Yeah, Leonardo da Vinci. And where is he from? Italy. Italy. Yeah. Number two? And the painting is at uh, Louvre in Paris. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Do you That's see it? Funny. Yes. Oh, uh, so it's a it. traveler, a great traveler. <laughs> yes, yes, I am indeed. <laughs> That's why I learn English. <laughs> but uh, Hassel, a question, please. Uh, sure. Would you like it in in yes. Paris? Uh, of course. <laughs> uh, Paris is uh, no, and not, unique. No, not Paris, but but the Mona Lisa. Yes, and I um I uh, have um. A uh, misconception that it's a, a very uh, a usual painting, but uh, when I was in front of that painting, was amazing. I don't know why, but it has a fantastic influence upon me. I never thought it would be that like that, but it was indeed. 
But because I prefer, answer. for example, I prefer impressionist, and uh, they are in uh, at Musée d'Orsay in Paris, and I like them very much. But Mona Lisa was very impressing. So do I, but uh, about impressive, but but Mona Lisa is small and dark. It's, uh, <laughs> uh, but it's famous, and I, it's it's the the point to to be to be uh, emotional uh, tie. I think so, but I I, I saw saw it and and I I became full because because it's so small and well so mm. far. Yeah. Senol, what do you think of the Mona Lisa? Um sorry? I think uh how to express? Um, I think the most important part of Mona Lisa, she seems like smiling but not smiling. Half part, they say that half part of uh, Mona Lisa likes smiling, but other part is not smiling. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's just a small little half smile. Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't know. I'm not good at. Uh, Art, maybe. No, I just was curious about your opinion. If you like it, if you don't like it. I like it. It's attractive, but I don't. I cannot describe what makes it attractive. Oh, that's okay. I we'll learn today her, some of the vocabulary. Look, I think her look is very impressive. When you are at uh, in front of the original painting, in my opinion, because the copies didn't say me anything before uh, I see. I've seen uh, the original. I see. So it's better in person. Yeah. I see. All right. We'll have to make a class trip then to France. <laughs> Number two, the scream. Do you guys know the artist that that made that painting? Yes. Edvard Munch. Munch? Yeah. yeah. Really? Yeah. And what do you guys think it's, of that one? It's famous. It's a person who is with uh, his mouth open and all of her face or its face, his face, I think it's a man, uh, says uh, that is scared of something and all her face ex um, express this screaming, mm -hmm. that terror maybe. Yeah, I think it's kind of a, a, a unique painting and it's very emotional, I guess. It's kind of strange when you look at it. You sort of think like, oh my god, what's happening? What am I looking at? I really like it though. Yeah. Um, number it was three. Stolen. Oh, what? It was stolen. The, this, uh, oh, it was stolen? Yes. Yeah. Interesting. Ago. And it's still missing? Mm, no. They found it? Yeah, but uh, perhaps a copy, but uh, ah. it was, was fun. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, hopefully it's the right one. Yeah. Um, number three, sunflowers. Who made that one? Van Gogh. Van Gogh. American Van Gogh. says Van Gogh, and uh, British Van Gogh. Van Gogh with an F at the end, like the sound of yes. an F. Yes, I think uh, that's kind of pronunciation have British people, Van Gogh, because I saw um, a documentary at uh, TV and it was made by a British, uh, ah. and they said Van Gogh, so you, yeah. you say Van Gogh? Yeah, that's how I say, I say Vincent Van Gogh. Anyone heard about that, they say that Van Gogh has problem with eyes, cataract, that's why his way of drawing was caused of his eye problem. Wow, that would be very interesting. Yeah, mm -hmm. I don't I know wonder if, if that's what it was. For me. Yes, I heard <laughs> it as well because he um, painted very much in the sun during the day. Hmm. So maybe that caused it. Yeah. Interesting. Because, I never heard that. Yeah, he sees that the world as blur, not very clear. So. He he draws the painting like that. What he sees. Interesting. Mm -hmm. 
All right. And number four, Guernica, the painting Guernica. Picasso, of course. Pablo yes, Picasso. Yes, <laughs> Pablo Picasso. It's a very Picasso. European group of painters we have here. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Pablo have you ever Picasso. seen it, uh, Hassel? Uh, yes. <laughs> In Madrid. Oh. Uh, no, no. I didn't ah. see Guernica. I saw other paintings of Picasso. Ah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Interesting. I know it's about a word uh, which uh, took place in uh, Spain. Uh, I yeah. don't know. The Civil War. Civil War, Spain. exactly, exactly. In the 30s, yeah. Mm -hmm. And Poppy is in a field. Yes, he's an impressionist. Claude Monet. Poppy is in a field. Claude Monet, yeah. Actually, this is a very European group. I think everyone uh, on this list is from Europe, right? Right. Yeah, it's a very European list of painters, but there it is. That's what that's what we have. Um, which is your favorite of these paintings? For, okay. I'll I'll start with Senol. Which is your favorite of these paintings? Among these? Yes. Okay. Yes, I think I think Mona Lisa uh, is the most attractive. Famous. Yeah. All right. And is that your favorite artist as well? Yeah, I think he's also a scientist, both scientist and artist. Yeah, he was a very smart guy. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Yeah. Hazel, how about you? What's your favorite? I think from this uh, Poppies in Field. I saw this uh, painting as well at uh, Musée d'Orsay in Paris. Wow, and why was it your favorite? I don't know. I like Impressionists. <laughs> Is Claude Monet one of your favorite painters? Yes. Awesome. But I like uh, Van Gogh as well. Uh, I don't understand Picasso and uh, Edvard Munch. <laughs> All right. It's too <laughs> surreal for me. <laughs> They're very different, yeah. Yeah. Alberto, which is your favorite? Well, yeah, I think the the five uh, are are great with pictures. Uh, perhaps for me, uh, Mona Lisa is the 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 the, the, well, the minus favorite, the the less fa the less favorite for be between these. Uh, but I I love uh, Van Gogh painting, and uh, Guernica is uh, very important because of the. Political. Uh, uh, mm-hmm. So yeah, they're all very important pieces, but yeah. very different in their own way. Yeah, sure. All right. So on uh, next, if you scroll down, it gives the answers for all of them, but we got them all, so you guys oh. probably don't need that. We <laughs> have another exercise for vocabulary. We're going to fill in the blanks with one of the paintings that we talked about above. So they each have their own space and yeah and then there's another exercise after that relates to them as well. Um, number one, Senel, will you read number one for us? Yeah. Uh, this is life painting of flowers in ways is one of the artists most recognizable works. All right, and which painting is that sound like? Anybody can answer this. Sunflowers. Sunflowers, yeah. yeah. So sunflowers Still is nice. number one. Mm -hmm. Two, Hazel, will you read two? Yes, the enigmatic smile of this portrait has captured the imagination of the world. It has been stolen twice, and now it is displayed in the Louvre, Paris. Uh, of course, Mona Lisa. Mona Lisa. Yeah, definitely. Number three, Alberto. Yeah, this landscape shows how the impressionist this depicts the beauty and simplicity of nature. It's uh, sunflowers by Vincent no. Bacoff. It yeah. is oh, not sunflowers, it's but it's similar. It's impressionist. Uh, I talk about poopy, before. Poopy in the f in the field. Yeah. Yeah. Poppy in the field. Sorry. Yeah. And one unknown word. Depict. What? Depict. Is is the is it written? Uh, uh huh. 
Does anyone know depict? Does anyone know that word already? Describe. Um, show. not exactly. Show. Yeah, show. it's similar to show. Mm -hmm. So to depict is to take something that is not um, uh, in a picture form and make it in a picture form. So if I read a book and then I drew a picture that was about the book, I mm. depicted. I took something that was in written word form and I transferred it into a picture. So it's similar to describe, but um, using pictures instead of words. Uh, next one. I think we're on number four, right? Mm -hmm. For Senol, will you do number four for us? Yeah. This is an abstract painting that symbolizes the anguish and pain of modern life. And what do you guys think? Which one is that? Scream. I think Scream. Scream. Could be, yeah. Oh. Could be. Okay. And five, the last one, Hazel. This monochrome painting has become a reminder of the tragedies of war, an anti-war symbol and an embodiment of peace. The painter is famous for his cubist style. Uh, Guernica of Picasso. Yeah, Guernica. All right, so we got them all right. And if you'll notice, uh, there are some vocabulary words in green. Those in every uh, question we just answered, there's a vocabulary word in green. And now we're going to use those green vocabulary words for the next exercise. Mm -hmm. So we have a list, one through seven, of different definitions. And you have to pick which vocabulary word is defined. So number one is for Alberto. Yeah, non-realistic. Uh, I think it's abstract. Yeah. Um, number two, Senol. <laughs> A picture showing an expanse of scenery must be impressionist. Not quite. Mes landscape, sorry. Landscape, is it? Yeah, landscape, exactly. Um, Sam, hello. Hi. Uh, will you introduce yourself for us quickly? Yes, sure. Sam, living in Spain. Awesome. And uh, do you have the notes up, Sam? I have just opened it. Excellent. So we'll wait for that to load. We have another new student, Young Caesar. Caesar? Am I, is your name Young or Caesar? Hi, uh, it's just Young. Okay, Young. Uh, yeah. How are you? I'm good, and you? I'm good. Would you like to introduce yourself quickly to us? Uh, well, I'm from Mongolia. Excellent. And uh, do you have the notes up? Uh, nope. No? Yeah, nope. Okay. I'm going to put them in the chat box for you. I'm going to put a link to them in the Verbling chat box. Okay. So click on that and wait for it to load, and you should be ready for class. Right now we are on the, uh, I think it's the second or third page. Third. And we're, thir the third page, and we're talking about the vocabulary words from the second page. Mm -hmm. So we are on number three, and I'm going to ask, who answered the last one? Senol, right? I, I answered, yeah. Okay. I'll ask Hazel to do the next one then. Yes. Painters who use color to capture the feeling of a scene rather than specific details. Impressionists. Yeah, it could be impressionists. So we have, we've got two words that are similar, abstract and impressionistic. Um, and both of them are a little similar, but one and three are very different. Yes, in style, very different. Yeah, very different. Okay, for Alberto. Of one color or sides of one color, uh, monochrome. Monochrome, yeah. Okay, um, Young, do you think you're ready to answer one of these questions? Uh, still can uh, the chat is the chat is not loading. Are you on the Verbling chat box or the Google chat box? The Google. 
Aha, that's the problem. Okay, so I'm going to, sorry, I put it in the Verbling chat box, but now I put it in the Google chat box, so you should be good to go. I'll come back to you. Sam, okay. would you like to answer the next question, number five? I'll try. So read it for us, and then we'll help you find the answer for it. Picture of a person. Picture of a person. So if we look back at the um, exercise before this, all of the green words are our vocab words. I think it's a portrait. Yeah, a portrait is a picture of a person. Excellent work. Uh, number six, Hazel. A style of art that depicts objects as geometric shapes that are seen from many different angles at the same time. Cubist. This is a Picasso style. Yeah, cubist. All right. And Young, do you think you're ready now or are you still loading it? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, you're going to get the very last one, number seven. Will you read uh, that one for us and then we'll come up with an answer for it? A, a picture of inanimate everyday objects. Uh huh. And can you choose one of the vocabulary words in green that you think is the proper word for that definition? Uh -huh. So it's not one of the words that we already used. I think some are easy to rule out. You know, it's not a portrait, it's not monochrome, it's not cubist for sure. <laughs> Can anyone help him? What do you guys think mm -hmm. the answer is to that one? Still life. Still life, yeah. So everyday inanimate objects, it's still life. A lot of times you'll see it's like fruit or flowers or something very simple that you can put on a table, something like that. Okay, so isn't now we're going to... Isn't it about a uh, plant, uh, something food, I think, uh, organic materials? Sometimes, but it doesn't have to be. But yeah, most of the time it's like a plant or a fruit, it's like organic, but it doesn't have to be. Sometimes you'll see um, I don't know, a book or something that's not organic. But most of the time, I, I do think it, it's usually organic. All right. So, who's your favorite artist? Now we're going to have a little bit of conversation. Who's your favorite artist? Um, I'll start on the left this time. Alberto, who's your favorite artist? And it doesn't have to be an artist that we talked about already. It can be someone else. So, do you have a favorite artist? Yeah, uh, Vincent, Vincent Van Gogh. Vincent Van Gogh is your favorite all-time artist? Yeah, it's my favorite. One. Excellent. Awesome. So, we talked a little bit about him today. I, I think this pessimism is, is very, very easy for, for understanding uh, all the people, and then it's easy for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, new student, Erden, Erden Bayer? How do I say your name? Erden Bayer? Oh, I think you're muted. You have to go to the top right corner of your screen and click the red microphone. Hopefully that's the problem. Hello. Hi, nice to meet you. Hi, hello, my name is Erden Bayer. I'm from Kalim, from Mongolia. So uh, my uh, I'm Erden Bayar. So you can Erka. Yeah, you can say Erka. I can say what? Erka? Erka. It's easy. Yeah, Erka. Okay, that's what I'll call you then. Excellent. Um, and do you have a favorite visual artist? Artist? Hmm. Maybe Beethoven. Who? Beethoven. Uh, I play the piano, so I. Ah. <laughs> okay, so yeah, Beethoven is definitely an amazing musician and definitely an artist, also. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Hazel, do you have a favorite artist? I don't know, only one. <laughs> yeah, it's hard, huh? <laughs> yes. 
Um, Do you like any that we didn't talk about today? Oh, I think um, I like um, Stura Painter. I saw it uh, the, um, uh, also in Paris at the Musée d'Orsay. He, um, he is a very special style of painting with uh, points, pointillism, we say in Romanian. I don't exactly know how to say in English. <laughs> I think uh, you heard about uh, this painter because mm -hmm. he is uh, the first one who paint like uh, this and uh, all the shapes are made from points and wow. um, uh, his um, paintings are a very nice color very pleasant color for 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 the eyes yeah this, <coughs> this is one of I also like um, Gaudi. I was impressed about his architecture uh, recently when I was to Barcelona. He is, yeah. uh, his um, buildings are unique. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Uh, Sam, do you have a favorite artist? Favorite artist? Let's see. Well, I think. <laughs> well, my, uh, the best artist you can see ever is is God, of course, as when you see the nature. <laughs> Interesting. But, Do you have any uh, famous visual artists that you like? Mm, let's see. I think uh, uh, Picasso. Picasso. Uh, the pictures that he make with with uh, rectangles and triangles that expresses the Civil War. Yeah, he was an interesting painter, definitely. Yes. Senol, how about you? Do you have a favorite artist? And it doesn't have to be someone we talked about. It could be anybody. Um, it must be a painter or other arts also? Could okay. be other arts. Yeah, it could be any kind of art. Um, I think Jim Kelly. I don't know if you <laughs> consider him an that's artist. one thing we didn't talk about is dance. Dance is an art, right? Yes. I think of it as an art. Mm -hmm. So you said you said Gene Kelly, right? Jim Carrey. Oh, Jim Carrey? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> well, comedy I think can also be an art and Jim Carrey is definitely a comedian. Mhm. Mm and he's an actor okay. too. So he's an artist for comedy and also for acting. Mm -hmm. He's my awesome. favorite because he my uh, um, his art makes me feel relaxed and get rid of daily life boring daily life routines. Mm -hmm. yeah. He makes things funny, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so now I would like to hear about a famous artist from your home country because as we were going through these, I kind of noticed that all of these artists are. Um, they're European and that's excellent but I think that there's a whole world of art out there and there are a lot of a lot of kinds of art that we didn't even touch or get close to so um, Alberto do you have any artists from your own country you'd like to mention anyone that's famous or that you think is really talented Oh, Sorry, I, I have I have my my, my microphone uh, mute. Ah. Uh, perhaps uh, you don't know him, but uh, I put it in in the chat box. Uh, his uh, his name is Ibarola. Ibarola. Do you mm -hmm. know him? I don't. Yeah, but uh, the the curious thing about him is uh, he paints the the trees in a forest it's uh -huh. a, it's a painting a curious painting yeah. and it's so he's a, a he's a visual artist then right yeah it's called it's called uh, something but i can't remember uh, that's okay yeah uh, and where's uh, he where did you say he was from uh from Basque country from oh Basque. okay Excellent. Yeah. I'll have to look him up. 
Uh, I forgot what you told me to call you. Erica? Is that Erka. what it was? Erica. Yeah, okay. So, okay. Yeah. yeah, from your country. Yeah, uh, I think that you you don't know exactly. So, uh, his name is Rocket Way. And what um, does he do? Uh, he is a rapper. And uh, before he uh, he went to the Mongolia, he was living in USA. So uh, maybe I I think that uh, uh, he was listening to uh, Eminem songs uh, because uh, his accents and uh, rhythms are very similar to him. So uh, that's the why he is very famous in Mongolia. So, Interesting. Uh, yeah, his rhythm and style is different from all the rappers in Mongolia. Awesome, that's excellent. Diverse. Yeah, the diverse. Eminem is very cool, you know. Yeah, it sounds like uh, different from each other. It's uh, uh, rock is like that. So. That's really cool. Yeah. Well, feel free to leave a link in the chat box if you want to share any of. Uh, any of his work or anything else, you can leave a link in the chat box and we'll be able to look at it that way. Okay. Hazel? Um, we have a very famous uh, sculptor, sculptor Brinkusen, mm -hmm. but he don't live anymore. <laughs> he um, uh, lived uh, last century and uh, he mostly he lived in Paris and worked with Auguste Rodin and I put a link at the chat box and uh, his um, works are very famous I think there are also in New York some of them in a very famous gallery but I don't remember uh, the name of the gallery certainly in Paris there are some uh, of his works and in our country as well and um, there are some um, works which are uh, exposed in the open air in his um, hometown in Romania he's anyway very famous wow that's awesome I can't believe his work are uh, they're public works then right they're just out in the open yes in, cool. op in the open air. You wow. may uh, see the link I put on uh, the chat box about awesome. him. Awesome. Thank you. I'll definitely look at that. Sam, how about you? Do you have any artists that you know from your home country? Mm, well, um, I can't remember the name exactly. I just remember the last name. Uh -huh. um, he's still alive, though. My origin country is Syria. And he's uh, he draws uh, um, comedy, something like um, comics. So he's like a comedian or an actor? No, he it's like a criticism for um, real life. Ah, he's a critic. I see. Yes, some, something like a um, caricature, something like that. Uh huh. Yes, his last name is Zayat, and uh, yes, because of his beautiful ideas and very free and criticistic, he was in jail several times. Yeah. Awesome. Um, I'm going to address one question from the chat box now. Someone wanted to know how to pronounce the word triangle. So it's pronounced like that, triangle. <laughs> and Senol, will yeah. you give us an artist from your country? Yeah, our, one of our famous artists is Osman Hamdi Bey. Uh, is, he has a famous uh, painting, The Turtles Trainer. Yeah. He lived uh, at the beginning of 20th century near the collapse of Ottoman Empire. Wow. Mm -hmm. A long time ago then. Sorry? A long time ago then. Yeah, a long time ago, but his uh, painting is like a classic, famous. I put on the chat box. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Um... I, one more question from the chat box. The accent on the word triangle is in the first syllable, so tri 
angle. It's on the first syllable. Okay. Uh, any other comments about art? About it, this can be about anything. Could be about music, dance, sculpture, architecture. Anything else? I believe I have, uh, we've finished our notes for the class, but I have another kind of fun activity, and it's vocabulary related. So we were talking about art vocabulary, but I'm going to switch a little bit, and now we're going to talk about um, vocabulary, simple vocabulary, and we're going to play a game. Perhaps you guys know it. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Who knows this game? <laughs> Hangman. Hangman. Okay. So for me. Huh? Very difficult for me. Why? <laughs> you have trouble with this game? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to come up with um, synonyms for the word big. I'd like us to get a few synonyms for the word big out, and then I'm going to put one of them up on the board, but it's going to be one that I don't think you guys know. So it's a synonym for the word big. Um, Senol, can you think of any synonyms before we begin our game? A similar word to big? Yes, a word that's similar to big. Huge, giant. Mm -hmm. Sam, can you think of any? A synonym for? The word big. Big. Um, large. Large. Perfect. Hazel, can you think of any? Enormous. Mm hmm. Erica? Um, normals. So, widely. <laughs> wide. Wide? Like Definitely. Big. Alberto? Really big. <laughs> you've got you've got one of the hardest jobs because everybody already said most of them, huh? <laughs> yeah. yeah. And that's okay. Yeah, yeah. Tremendous. That's a good one. Okay, so now I've got one on the board and it's a synonym to the word big. I'm gonna have you guys guess letters. Starting with uh we'll start from the left this time. So I'm gonna start with Alberto. Guess a letter. Uh, an E. E. Yeah. Okay. There's one E. It's all against you. Yeah, it's everybody against me. <sighs> we are more. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. We'll see if you guys get it. And, um, in case you didn't notice, there's seven letters in this word, and there's two E's, so that was a good start. You guys got two out of seven letters already. Uh, next, mm. Sam, will you guess a letter? Sam? Are you there? Uh, okay. We'll come back to you, Sam. Hazel, guess a letter. A. A. Nope, no A's in this word. Uh oh, uh -oh. dun dun dun. Okay. Um, Erica, guess a letter. Uh, uh, so last well, last E. Yeah, we've yeah. we've guessed A and E. P. T, as in turtle? Yes. No T's. No uh, T's in this word. Okay. Uh, Alberto, guess a letter. Wow. <laughs> uh, the M. M. Oh, that was a good one. There are two M's in this word. Wow. All right, so now you've got four out of seven. You've got more come than Come on, half. guys, come on. <laughs> so that's it's how it is. It's blank, M-M-E, blank, blank, E. And we are back to Senol. Guess a letter. Oh, I know. I. I. There is an I. Yeah. It's the first it letter. Is. 
We've got two more blanks. Sam, are you there? I Hazel, you guess one. Can I guess the word? Uh, yeah, of course. <laughs> immense. Yeah, immense. Immense is the word. So we're missing an N and an S. Spelled I M M E N S E. Immense. Immense. And what would you use this word for? Can anyone use this word in a sentence? The word immense? Mm -hmm. The sea is immense. Yes. When I think of immense, I think of the sea because it's something that's so large that you can almost not really understand how large it is. It's unbelievably large. Okay. One more. I'm going to think of one more synonym for the word big, since you guys got that one pretty, pretty easily. And this one I think is going to be harder for you. I think it's going to be much harder, so hopefully I'll win this one. Okay. This one has uh, five. Five letters in it. And we'll start with Alberto, since I think we... Did we start with you the last time? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay, then I'll start with I'll start with Senel then. Senel? Yes, synonym to, synonym to big again? Yes, it's another synonym to the word big. Mm. Immense. It's immense. E. 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 No e's. No e's in this word. This one's a tough one. I'm confident I'm gonna win this one. <laughs> Hazel, guess a letter. A vowel. We need A. I stick a. with A. <laughs> okay, no A's in this no one. A's. No A's. Um, Erica? Mm. A vowel we need anyway. G. G? Yeah. As in goat? Yeah. No, nope. no, no, no. Uh, ah, yeah, yeah. Goat. Green. Nope. Like green. N no G's. Mm. No G's. Uh oh. Okay. Alberto. Your turn. We gotta get a letter. Are you there, Alberto? Ah. What's happening? All of our students are leaving, and this is the best part of the class. <laughs> okay, let's go to Senol then. Guess a letter. Mm. Did we say L? We did not yet, but that was L. a good one. So L, as in, um, as in, Lord, <laughs> as in lie. L. L. Right? Okay. There's mm -hmm. one L. It is the third letter. Third Good letter. guess. L. Hazel, you're next. I. We don't have a, I. any mm -hmm. vowel yet. I. No, no I. I. What, what, what vowels? <laughs> Erica, back to you. Ah, we have one more vowel, maybe. So. Mm. N. Only two arms left. What? N. Only N? two arms left. Yeah. N is in next. Yeah. Next. Nope. No ends. I think I'm gonna get this one. Alberto, you're <laughs> back. Did only, you have only a... one arm left? Well, I'll be kind. Maybe you guys will get some hair or some teeth or something. So, Alberto, would you like to guess a letter? Yeah, but 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 you have to paint to draw the eyes and the nose and the mouth and, <laughs> and the yeah. palms and yeah. shirt. But we still oh, need a vowel, I think. Difficult. Uh, I I play I play hard. Uh, <laughs> a T one. T. No T's. No oh, T's. I know. So I know. Nice. Okay, so. The vowels. I think I think Hazel's on the right track. We still need some vowels. So what it's vowels do we have in English? We already oh. guessed E, A, and I. What other mm. vowels are there? We need o. o. What other? Okay, that's another vowel. What other vowels are there in English? There's more. U. 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 And o. there's one more. 
semi vowels oh. w yeah, some... and the and the, oh, which one and y and y so those are all the vowels now mm -hmm. senel guess a letter w y or u or o <laughs> <laughs> this for one of these four letters u you good what? guess we do have a u in this word it's the second one so now we have blank u l blank blank and hazel it's your turn again oh so um why why another good guess we do have a y so now we have blank u l blank y like I this know. Uh, erica your turn yeah. Um, how many chance do we have left? Um. Well, I'm gonna say probably three or four, because uh, I I'll, I'll give you guys you know like hair and a face and some feet. <laughs> I'll be kind. So guess a letter. Uh, I think we don't know this one still. Hey guys, do you have any ideas? <laughs> <laughs> I know, I knew this was going to be a hard one for you guys. Yeah. Be brave. I think the shorter words are more difficult than the long mm. ones. B? B, try B. Yeah, B. I think I, I know. Yeah. Ah, okay, I know Hazel's <laughs> helping out. We do have a B in this word. <laughs> B U L blank Y and it's Alberto's turn to guess a letter. No, no, no. I'll still finish. <laughs> finish, please. Shall I? Shall I help? Sure. K. K. Very oh. good vocabulary, Hazel. The word is bulky. Bulky. Yeah. Wow. yeah. Bulky. And does anyone? Can anyone use that in a sentence? Or do you guys need a little help? Well, when we um, have something in bulky, in big um, quantities, in large quantities. Yeah, so there's two ways we can use this word. Bulky is usually something that's big in an unmanageable sort of way. So something like if you're carrying home things from the store and you have these big bags, they're kind of, they're heavy and um, they take your arms, so they're big, but they're unmanageable. They're in your way. They're causing a problem. It's kind of a, a negative term usually. And the other way we can say it is bulk. If you buy something in bulk. Yes, uh, if you, I know this one. Yes. Do you? Okay, so explain mm -hmm. that one to us. If you buy in bulk, um, what does that mean? You buy uh, big quantities in, instead of uh, buying uh, only one kilo or one pound. You buy in bulk in uh, big quantities something. Mm -hmm. So, huh? Like wholesale? Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Like wholesale. So maybe you have to buy 20 kilos of rice. That's buying in bulk. So it's a lot. Okay. I'd like everyone to come up with a sentence that they put bulky in. So a sentence for the word bulky. And I would like you guys to write it in the chat box for me. So write a sentence in the chat box that uses the word bulky. Mm. Okay, Erica carries his bulky piano to another house. All right, that's good. So it would be very difficult to carry a piano. I could see they're very large things and they could be bulky. They could be in your way. That's a good sentence, Alberta. Thank you. Um, 
Anyone else ready? Mm. A bit. Like this, okay. Bulky of water dropped on the floor. Mm, that's not exactly correct. So we could say maybe a bulk of water. But it's better to use it's better to use it after the noun because it's an adjective. Um, or before the noun, but without of. So try to say something like a product you could eat or... Um, but it, you, uh, you said that it must be negative. It is. It's usually negative, but not necessarily negative like an action that happens negative. Some, mm -hmm. Usually something that's kind of a static occurrence, like if it's in your way, Okay, Hazel. The bulky waste from households comes from not recycling. That's definitely true. So the more we recycle, the less bulky our trash is. Yes, definitely. less waste we have. And that's perfect usage, kind of a negative, kind of a negative term. Recycling is definitely better. Okay, I think that Chopin's piano sheets are usually bulky sheets. Yeah, so he writes a lot of music and they're, it's bulky because there's a lot and it's almost excessive. Perfect. Just one thing, you should um, pluralize sheets. So make sure you have the S at the end for yeah. plural. Okay. Okay, the body of the teacher <laughs> is bulky. All right. So if you say someone's body is bulky, what, what might that mean about their body? I think it's not nice to say something well, it's, like it's, that to a lady. <laughs> <laughs> it's not necessarily nice, that's true. But what does it mean? It, it's not the worst thing. What does it mean? Are they skinny? Are they heavy? No, heavy, heavy. Plant, yeah, they're probably a, a heavy person. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, the bulk of consumers are based in town. That's perfect usage. The bulk, so the majority of consumers are based in town. That's perfect usage. Senol, do you want to try your sentence? <laughs> or are you nervous? A bit nervous, yeah. That's okay. Um, if you're nervous to do it this class, write a sentence for me and send it to me on my Facebook. I'll give you Thank guys you. my Facebook name in case you need it. Um, I put it in the chat box now. So if you guys have any questions or um, need anything, have any curiosities, uh, you can email me or message me at any time and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you guys for participating in this class. I had a great time. Thank you. Uh, we had, we yeah, had you. a great time as well. Bye. Thanks Bye. guys. Bye.